Hey guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great. So today we are going to be talking about another Wet n Wild product. I know my last video was also about a Wet n Wild setting spray but Wet n Wild is one of those affordable brands available here and a lot of people tend to buy those. So I thought I would review it and also the fact that I own a lot of Wet n Wild products. So yeah, let's get started. So today we are going to be talking about some Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliners. So it says Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner and this is in the shade Baby's Got Black. And the second one that I have here is in a nude shade and it is called Calling Your Buff. So these retail for 135 rupees and it contains 1.4 grams of product. Now I'll compare and see how much the Maybelline one and the Lacme one contain so that you guys get a better idea of which one is more cost efficient for you. And this has a shelf life of 12 months. So I got both of these from Nykaa. I don't think you can get wet and wild from any other offline store they are available in five shades now i have personally not seen any colorful ones i think the other two shades are a white one and a brown and some deeper brown and stuff so yeah there is no colorful option but if you don't like black and if you don't like this nude shade there are other shades available too so they come in a wooden packaging and it's a sharpenable thing and they're actually surprisingly very creamy i just swatched it right here and this is all a one swipe thing but I personally do not like my eyeliners that I wear in my waterline to be very creamy. So yeah, if you are using this for any other purpose, then this might be good for you. But if you don't like creamy eyeliners, because they just tend to slip off my eyes quicker than the ones that are a little bit drier. So if you have the Maybelline one, this is definitely a lot more creamier than the Maybelline one. Even if you have the Miss Claire lip liner, this is a lot more creamier than the Miss Claire lip liners. I personally do not wear casual on my waterline and stuff. I just, I used to wear it a lot, but then I just stopped and since then I haven't gone back. I don't even use it to tight line anymore. I just feel like it's an extra step and does not add a lot to my eyes personally. If it's your thing, then yeah, surely go ahead. But personally, what I like to do is use this on this area. If you can see, uh, I'm sorry if my camera is not able to catch it up. So in this area right here, I just use a little bit and then smudge it with a pencil brush or something. And that is the look that I have been into for the past two years, I think. Sometimes I would even use this brush. It's a pencil brush and then just use some product from the tip and then just smudge it directly on my eyes instead of going in with this on the waterline and that is something that I found to be the most convenient for me so yeah that is the only way I use this eyeliner and sometimes I do tight line with this but I personally do not find that to be long lasting on my eyes this is very creamy and I do not expect it to last for a long time but as a casual, I want it to last for at least, I'll say, five to six hours. And this comes off in like three to four hours. So yeah, it's not something that I would recommend as a casual. But if you like to smudge things and stuff, this is a really great one. Now you can see that it smudges a lot. And yeah. So if you are into that, if you like to use a black eyeliner as a smudging thing, yeah, this one is for you. Now coming to the nude shade. It is actually a really good shade as a nude. It is very flesh toned so if you are a person, I have it right now on my waterline but I don't think it's quite visible. I didn't go over a few times with it, I just went one swipe and it gives a really good pigmentation. This on the other hand I found it to be a little bit more dry than the black one and it does stay on my waterline for again 4 hours or something. So if you want something intense I don't think this is the one but if you are just in the market looking for a good affordable flesh toned eyeliner this might be it. Firstly what I use it for is, now this is not again my ideal way of using this but I have it so I want to use it in that way and if you'll see both of these eyeliners, there's a huge difference. Now obviously I use the black one in a very tiny area. For this I usually go underneath my eyebrows and clean up anything if I have messed up my eyebrows and stuff and then I use this kind of brush to blend it out. It is kind of pencil brush but, but it is a little too big for pencil brush I'll say. So it does a really good job of blending on. Personally I haven't really found a casual that stays on my eyes for a long time. I tried the Maybelline one, the extra dark one, the Lacme one but nothing really worked for me. I know there is one by Plum and one by Faces but I just stopped wearing eyeliner on my waterline so I don't see a point in investing on an eyeliner that I don't want to use a lot. So yeah, this is this is perfectly fine for me. I eventually like to smudge it. Sometimes even on the top lid I'll just use this to smudge and give my eyes a little bit of definition. Also for this I do try to use it sometimes on my inner corners and stuff 
and it is difficult to blend so it's not like concealer that it gets blended easily and after finishing this i don't think i'll repurchase this one specifically so i'm gonna insert a proper swatch picture of these two right now on the screen just to get a better idea in natural lighting and now let's get to the pros and the cons of both of these products Pro number one is that these are affordable this is cheaper than the maybelline one and if you do not like Maybelline thing, then you might want to try this. If Maybelline one is too dry, this one is for you. Pro number two is that it's really good to smudge your eyeliner. This one is definitely really good. This one, I'm not really sure if you want to smudge this anywhere. I'm not really sure about the other shades too. Personally, I haven't seen a lot about them. But yeah, if you are into smudging your lash line, your top line, then yeah, this one will work really good. Pro number three is that it is really pigmented. So you don't have to worry about the pigmentation and stuff. And pro number four is that it is quite widely available on Nykaa, Amazon. Also, do not buy Wet n Wild from Nykaa, I'll suggest. Because a lot of the times, Amazon just has a lot of brand sales and wet and wild is generally found on like 50 percent off and stuff obviously if there's a sale go ahead and buy just check the expiry date of the products and yeah you can go ahead with your purchase and now coming on to the cons con number one is that it does not stay on for a long time con number two is that the shades and the formulas might differ a little bit it's not a huge difference but yeah some shades are drier than other shades con number three is that sometimes it will settle at the edge of your eyes and that is not possible a look that I really like. Con number four is that you have to sharpen these and they do not come with a sharpener or anything. It just comes like this. You have to have your own sharpener. So if that's an issue for you, these are not for you. And I think that is it for the review and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tell me if you have any other video requests in the comment section down below. And also please don't forget to subscribe. That's a way for me to keep my channel going and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!